Hi Scott here. I hope you're having a nice day at home today. Earlier on in the week, I asked you to look at the front cover of the book and I asked you to think if you could think of another animal that was really slow. Did you manage to think of one? I thought of the tortoise because the tortoise moves very slowly. It takes a very long time to get anywhere. I also asked you to think of an animal that's really fast. Did you know that the cheetah is the fastest mammal on the earth? Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to finish reading the story. And then we're going to look at questions. In year one, we need to be able to ask questions. And we also need to be able to write questions using a question mark. So today we're going to have a little bit of practice. First of all, I'm going to read the book. Let's see if you can remember how it starts. Slowly, 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 a sloth crawled along a branch of a tree. Slowly, 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 the sloth ate a leaf. Slowly, 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 the sloth fell asleep. Slowly, 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 the sloth woke up. All day long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. All night long, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. Even when it rained, the sloth hung upside down in the tree. Why are you so slow? The howler monkey asked one day, but the sloth didn't answer. Why are you so quiet? The caiman asked, but the sloth didn't answer. Why are you so boring? The anteater asked, but the sloth didn't answer. Tell me, said the jaguar, why are you so lazy? The sloth thought and thought and thought for a long, long, long time. Finally, the sloth replied, It is true that I am slow, quiet and boring. I am lackadaisical, I dawdle and I dilly-dally. I am also unflappable, languid, stoic, impassive, sluggish, lethargic, placid, calm, mellow, laid-back and, well, slothful. I am relaxed and tranquil. And I like to live in peace, but I am not lazy. Then the sloth yawned and said, that's just how I am. I like to do things slowly, slowly, slowly. Lots of the animals in the story ask the sloth a question. Why are you so slow? Why are you so quiet? Why are you so boring? Why are you so lazy? All of the questions in the story use the why question word. But there are lots of other words that we use at the start of a question to let people know that we are wanting an answer. That's why we call them question words. They can be who, what, why, where, when and how. Not all questions start with these words, but usually they do. Today, we are going to focus on the question word why 
and we're going to think of our own question using this word. For example, we could ask the sloth, why are you hanging from a tree branch? Or why do you have such long claws? I'm going to write my question down because I have a pen and paper. When we write questions, it's still so important to remember these three things. We must use capital letters, finger spaces and hmm. Do we use a full stop when we're writing a question? No, we don't. Can you remember the name of what we do use? Perfect. A question mark. That tells us and shows us that we're asking a question. I'm going to ask the sloth the question, why are you hanging from a tree branch? And I'm going to use everything that I have around me to help me write it. I'm going to start my question with the word why. And I know that I need to use a capital letter. Y, finger space. R, there's quite a lot of tricky words in this sentence. R, finger space. U, can you tell your adult how to spell U? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, super. Why are you hanging? Hanging's quite a long word. Hmm. Hanging. What sound can you hear at the start? Ah. Hang. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to use my speed sounds chart and I'm going to look for my mm sound. Hang. Why are you hang? Ing. We were doing this just before we left for all of this time off. The ing sound. Hmm. And we know that when we add ing to a word we need to add an I and then the ng sound. Hanging. Hanging. Why are you hanging from fur? Oh. Mm. From a tree tree hmm what sound can you hear t t -er. tree hmm i wonder what e sound we need to use do you think we use e what can you see or E, cup of tea. E, what can you see? Or E, cup of tea. We use the E, what can you see sound. T, R, E. Tree. Branch. Branch. Let's use our Fred fingers to work out how many we need for branch. But, er, a, n, ch. But, er, a, n, ch. Branch. Five Fred fingers. There's five sounds in my word branch. The first one would be. 
crunch. Mm. Ah. Mm. Ch. Ch. My ch sound uses the k and letters. Why are you hanging from a tree branch? Have I used my capital letter? I have. Have I used finger spaces? I have. Have I ended my question with a question mark? I haven't. I'm going to add that in now. A big thumbs up. Why are you hanging from a tree branch? We've looked at lots of questions using the why word. So now your challenge is to think of questions using the other question words. Who, what, where, when and how. For example, who do you live with? What is your name? What is your favourite food? Where do you live? When are you going to get down from the tree? How did you climb that tree? If you have a pencil and paper or a pen, why don't you write down these fantastic questions for me, remembering to use your capital letters, finger spaces and a question mark. If you don't have a pen or paper, that's absolutely fine. You can just ask the questions to your adult. I hope you've enjoyed today's session, Year One, and hopefully it won't be long until I see you.